Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a fall collection to show you. I know. I actually have three fall collections already in my two swatch queue and I'm honestly not ready for it. <laughs> I love summer. I do enjoy fall, but I just love summer. Um, this lip color is a trial and it doesn't go with anything. Today I have the Zoya Sensual Collection for Fall 2019. This is, as always, a 12-piece collection. Oh, I do want to say I don't have any more of the Z-Wide brushes, so my swatches that I did were with the regular Zoya brush. So I don't have any more brushes to put in my Zoya polishes, and I just haven't bought any yet. <laughs> so they're just the regular brush that comes with the Zoya bottles. If you guys want to see some swatches of the Zoya Sensual Collection for Fall 2019, and just keep watching. I'm going to read Zoya's descriptions. The first polish is called Joss, and this is described as a soft colonial rose cream. This one covers really well in two coats. It is a very um, soft rose color. It's, you know, a little bit earthy feeling, and it has a really great formula, and it covers in two coats. The second polish is called Kinsley, and this is described as a blush-toned caramel cream. Uh, I think that's pretty accurate. This is a pretty caramel cream. This also has a really great formula. It covered in two coats. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you that right now that all of these covered in two coats. Um, they all performed very well. They all had really nice formulas. They, there was no running or pooling. They weren't thin. They were pretty spot on formulas. It's going to be a little bit repetitious because they all had the same formula, but in a good way. So, two coats of Kinsley. The next polish is called Foster, and this is described as a decadent hot chocolate cream with pink undertones. I love a hot chocolate, chocolatey brown cream polish. I think that it's just a beautiful color, particularly for the fall. I think it's it's just really a cozy color, and it makes me feel warm. I quite like this one. So that's two coats of Foster. The next polish is called Briar, and this is described as a red-toned terracotta cream. I mean, my first thought was a rose cream because of Briar Rose. They probably couldn't say that for like licensing purposes or something I'm not sure anyway again this had a beautiful formula this they all had a very good two coat formula but something about this formula seemed even better um, but it's still covered in two coats it was nice and I just, when I was applying this one I just thought wow this one is really nice but they're all really nice Something about this one, I don't know if I was just really into the color or what, but something about this polish, I thought, wow, this is really nice. This is a really good formula, but they all had a good two coat formula. You know, as I applied it, I thought, wow, this is just lovely. So it's two coats of Briar. The next polish is called Margaret, and this is described as a well-balanced, vivid auburn red cream. This one, again, covers in two coats. At least a vivid red, but it's not a bright red. It's still, uh, I think it leans more pink than red. I think that Margaret looks more pink in the bottle than it does on the nail. It definitely looks red on the nail, but it's a really pretty, um, I guess auburn red is probably pretty accurate. So two coats of Margaret. The next polish is called Rashida, and this can be described as a dazzling ruby red with a shimmer of red micro pearl. I love this type of shimmer, and Zoya does these really well. This one again covers in two coats. It's very, it's not an overwhelming shimmer, but it definitely looks a little more luxurious on the nail than a plain cream, um, and because it is a micro shimmer, it's going to remove the same way as a cream polish. I really like Rashida. This is this is one of my favorites, and it was red, which is very rare for me to really be into the red. That's so two coats of Rashida. 
The next palette is called Etta, which is described as a vampy cabernet with a hint of violet micro pearl adding depth to your nail look. But this one was beautiful. It covered in two coats. Again, I love this type of vampy, shimmery, pearly color. I think that this is just perfect for fall. I love the name Etta. It just reminds me of a classy lady. It's a beautiful, deep Cabernet, like wine color, but it does look purple or red on your nails. It doesn't look black. It's really, really pretty. I quite liked Etta. So that's two coats of Etta. The next polish is called Ripley, and this is described as, as a rich boysenberry cream. Again, it covers two coats, it has a really good formula. The cooler half of the collection is always my favorite. I just I always get more excited about cool toned colors. This, you know, this part is my jam. I really enjoyed uh, Ripley as well, two coats of Ripley. Next polish is called Michaela, and this is described as a dusty purple taupe cream. Uh, yeah, this is a very cool toned purple. It is very dusty. I would definitely describe this as a dusty purple. Um, again, a good formula. I don't, I don't have any complaints. The next polish is called Vesper. And this is described as a deep antique gray violet cream. This is definitely very cool toned, even dustier. I always think of this type of purple as a stormy purple. It's just cozy and stormy and cool and just, I just love this type of purple. So that's two coats of Vesper. The next polish is called Elliot and this is described as a blackened peacock blue cream. Again, it covers in two coats. It has a good formula. It's a very dark blue, but it still looks blue on your nails. It doesn't look black. I like that. And I had no issues with Elliot. It covers in two coats. I only swatched this, so I don't have any info on if it's stained, but I didn't have any staining for the time that I was swatching it. And sometimes, sometimes I do with some of these deep blue colors, so I didn't have any issues with staining on a swatch for this. The last polish in this collection is called Ashton, and this is described as a black tourmaline with scattered silver effect. And this, again, covers in two coats. It is a blackened base. If you have really long nails, you might possibly need a third coat for this one, but it was, it was solidly opaque for me in two coats, but I can see you potentially needing three if you have very long nails. Um, otherwise, it's a really pretty shimmery polish. It's a solid color. So that is the Zoya Sensual Collection for Fall 2019. What do you think of this collection? I have to say that when I um, saw the teaser email and saw the theme was going to be uh, sensual, I was really hoping for some new matte velvets or something with a little more texture, I guess. I love Zoya's cream formula. It's a beautiful formula, but they also do shimmers so well. If half of these were shimmers, I think I would have loved this collection. I like it. I think that the, the colors are pretty, but I don't think it's anything very new. Um, I was just hoping for more texture or dimension or shimmer or just something a little more a little more textured I guess not necessarily physically textured although I love the pixie dust oh I mean if they had put like a chocolate brown pixie dust in here or a matte velvet oh my gosh that would have been amazing um, I think any of these colors in the matte velvet or pixie line would have been fantastic. Not that they're going to do an entire collection of pixies for their fall collection, because I know not everyone likes that much texture, but oh, if they did a chocolate matte velvet, oh, beautiful. The Zoya matte velvet formula is amazing. 
Anyway, so I like this collection, but I was hoping for a little more texture, but that's okay. The collection is available for purchase now on the Zoya website. I'll have that link in the description box. Let me know which is your favorite from this collection. And um, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.